everyone. Ryan here from iOS Mars. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys, you know, a quick uh, little demo and, uh, you know, perhaps a tutorial getting yourself started on using Ocelab. Um, this is a new uh, sequencer app out from 2Beats, as you probably saw from the little intro screen. Um, yeah, this is a, it's a really cool sequencer app. You guys know me. I don't like sequencer apps. I don't have really any use for this, but I do see the value. You know, with this app, anyone, anybody, it doesn't matter who you are, you could create a song very easily that sounds decent and is in key and with, you know, minimal effort. So, um, you know, really easy app to, to make your songs. Um, so basically what I'm going to do today is uh, I'll just go through, uh, you know, setting up a bit of a song and some of the options that we have to mess around with here. Okay, so let's get started. I'm just going to go to the, click the little cog wheel here and I'm just going to open a new session. It's pretty much what I already had open, but uh, I'll just do a new one just so you know from scratch where I'm starting. I'm going to mute this synth and I'm going to mute this uh, second drum track here. And I'm going to open up this 808 drums. Okay, now what we can do, we'll just click play so we can hear this. So as you can see, we it's really easy what we uh, to you know make a little drum beat here. This is a I actually like this little sequencer part here. As you can see on uh, the right hand side of your screen, um, hold on, let me focus this a little bit better. Um, as you can see on the side of your screen here, you got the little sequence thing. Uh, you got a filter where we can we can add some filters into this uh, into this drum loop as well. You, you know, you get an app, you can raise the volume and and all that. We can pan it as well. You know, back and forth between left and right speaker. Obviously, um, because I'm filming this audio through my phone today, um, you won't be able to hear uh, any. Uh, any difference between light or right or left, but yeah, that's just this is where we set it up here. As you can see, right, left, center. Um, we have our bars here. Let me go back to the main sequence so you can see. If I up these bars, you know, I can uh, I can I can go through these these other ones here. So we'll play this, and as you can see, now we have a couple extra. Um, bars that we can make this a bit longer and everything. I'm just going to put it back to one. All right. So I'm going to mute that and I'll take us back to, uh, by clicking the little, um, the little mixer type icon there. It'll take us back to like our main, our main view. See, this is the 808 I had added. Hold on. I'm going to actually go back to that for a second and, uh, I'll show you that, um, if we click where it says 808 here, we can actually change the drum kit. You know, there isn't a whole lot to uh, start off with, but, um, you know, whatever. It's good enough. It's, a, it's enough variation to, you know, make a bunch of different kinds of songs. So there's an acoustic drum kit. Um, okay, I'm just going to mute this and I'll pop back to the track view there. And we'll open our synth here. I'll double click the synth. Okay, the way this works, it, it's kind of it's kind of neat actually because um, you know you're gonna define what key that um, everything will be in, and uh, once you do that, like see, I have um, E and A here uh, selected, so everything should be in E, and. As you can see, uh, you'll probably have to look at your own screens because it's so tiny, but you can actually see the notes on the side here. Um, down at the bottom here, this is our actual where our notes are going to be placed. So, as you can see, as it goes along, it's playing these notes. You can stretch them out. And now, what we can do is by clicking anywhere on here, we can add a little, um, I guess you could call it a node, um, to, uh, to change the key of, of um, these notes, which, uh, you know, it's, it's really easy and uh, 
uh, for lack of a better word, idiot proof to do this, because I can really just click anywhere, it doesn't matter. And now we can listen to this. And as you can see, I got a nice little riff made up already just by, you know, randomly clicking the screen. So, um, you know, we can uh, use this, uh, this little button here. Um, it shows that we are now in step format, and we can also ch uh, choose to, ch to change this just by clicking it into, uh, you know, a more um, a linear kind of, as if you were using um, the, the pitch wheel on your synthesizer. So it works more like that. I prefer the step though. And then we can, you know, we can, um, we can click on this. Maybe we'll, we're going to add a little bit of something in here. Which is going to affect our noise, or like our, our, our uh, keys as well. I don't actually really know what to call these areas, I guess like, um, yeah, I have no idea what to call them. So um, we have samples and synth. Obviously you, you should be able to hear a difference between the two. So uh, our synth here is as a host bass. We can obviously, the same way I showed you with the drums, switch this up. So we got a little violin there. Okay, so let's mute this for a second, and I'm gonna go back to our track view, and uh, let's, uh, let's open up this bass here. So obviously, as you can see, exa exact same thing as the synthesizer, you know, all these, uh, all the instruments are going to be the same and all the drum tracks are going to be the same to edit them. So, really easy. So now we can go back into the track view. And obviously, as you can hear, we got ourselves the start of a little song here. So now, you know, maybe we want to, uh, you know, make a new riff that's completely different from this one and add it into our song, per se. Um, that's where our little scene panel comes in here. This is going to be like our pattern selector, if you will. And uh, you could actually use this for live performances if you, had, uh, if you had set out the song all in the way that you want. There's this little wait to end button here, which is kind of neat. You know, if you, it's selected uh, when you select a new scene. Here, let me just add a new one. Um, it will not switch to the new scene till it's done playing the last one. So it just copied over, uh, you know, what I just did. But, see. As you can see there, it, it was blinking as it switched. That means that it's just waiting until the end of the line. You know, obviously, because both these tracks, uh, both these uh, patterns are exactly the same. You couldn't really tell when it switched over. But, you know, what I could do is I can mute this and uh, I could open this electronic drum, drum, uh, drum area here. And we could, you know, maybe slow it down to like a, a little bit of a halftime feel. So basically the same thing I did, just half. <laughs> So 
so you can see, yeah, works pretty good. Um, if you were uh, going to use this in a live performance setting, uh, I think that would probably be, be your best bet. But you know, another option that I haven't touched on yet is um, also this little uh, pad area here. So let me just start this playing. And as you can see, we have our pads here that are pretty much the same as, um, you know, like a chaos pad through Korg or whatever. So we can... Now another thing that I think is kind of neat, if we use two fingers on these pads, we can actually set like a little radius here, and we can click the little lock button and have, uh, as you can see, let me stop this, as you can see, um, our little, whatever you want to call this, is just going in a circle here, and it's going to play, you know, everything as it goes around, which is really neat, you know, I thought this was an excellent um, addition to these pads here. So obviously you could use these as well to you know mix up your song, do something a little bit different. You know you can you can mute and solo tracks all from this panel as well. So during a live performance, as you can see, you got your scenes in the side. This is probably the page you're gonna want to be on. Um, you know if you're not a musician, uh, just fun to play with, totally fun to play with. So mess around with this, and you know um, I think that's pretty much all I have to show you guys today on this. Um, Everything uh, else that is uh, in here, you know, I, I didn't show you the effects, but you guys know how effects work and everything. It's all pretty easy and self-explanatory, so no really need to go into depth on that one. Um, so yeah, Ocelab by 2Beats. Um, you guys, if you enjoy this, totally check it out. Uh, I'm going to say right now, I have an extra promo code for this app, and I am going to be giving it away, so... Uh, definitely go over to iosmars.com, uh, check out the post for Ocelab, um, the tutorial video that I've made, this one. And uh, underneath you'll find a little bit of details on how to get uh, yourself your own copy of Ocelab. Um, you know, I'm going to do a really easy contest for this one, just give it away really quickly, so act as fast as you can. And you know, if, if, you, if you don't make it, it's okay, you know, I'll have the App Store link there, you want to buy it cool you don't want to buy it that's cool too but uh yeah that's it for today um thanks a lot for watching you guys and uh yeah we'll see you next time